Hello, this is Kevin King from Pinehurst Websites, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to send an email newsletter uh, from Shopify using MailChimp. And I've already integrated MailChimp into this, and if I set up a site for you, I've probably done the same for you. So what's going to be different than your regular Shopify when it's integrated is when you go to a product, I'm clicking products on the left-hand side, and you click on, let's say, this uh, anchor bracelet here at the top where you would normally just have duplicate and save you also have this little three dots that says email using MailChimp so what I would like to do is create an email using a, an entire collection and you click on collections on the left hand side and this one I'm going to use Sea Life Jewelry Collection I'm going to go up and all of the items in the entire collection uh, are going to be sent in this email so I'm going to go up to the top of the page here and email using MailChimp. And you want to make sure that you're already logged in. Let's try this again now that I'm logged in. As I said, it's best to be logged in. Now that I am logged in, which I was not logged in, uh, it's going to ask me which, uh, which one of my lists that I want to send it to. So I have a number of different lists. So I'm going to send this list to just the people of my, let's see, I'm going to send it to my Tiramisu store customers. So I'm going to use the default, which is a one column uh, newsletter, and then it's going to send me over to MailChimp to finish, and it automatically fills this out, subject to Sea Life Jewelry Collection, and Sea Life Jewelry Collection for the title. So I'm going to go over to MailChimp to finish this up. And this is the list that I'm on right here. I'm going to go to Setup. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to check all of this information. This all looks good here. I'm going to go to Design. And this is just going to actually have all the items in the collection are going to come up. So it's going to be quite a long newsletter, and by default it's going to put pretty much everything in there that I want. Right here I'm going to edit this, and I'm going to edit uh, this and use text, and I'll just put Tiramisu Sea Life Jewelry. So let's just go in here and type in Tiramisu Sea Life Jewelry. And since I have a lot of new items in here to get people's attention, let's put New Sea Life Jewelry Collection. And you could also put a link in the top of this. Let's just say we want to link this to our Sea Life Jewelry Collection. And what we would do is just uh, go to Tiramisu. Let's go to the Sea Life Jewelry Collection. And let's copy this link. Go back to our campaign builder, create a link, and add the URL. And we simply insert that, and now that's a hyperlink. So we save and close. And now this is a hyperlink when this will come up. And in here you just want to put some text uh, that would go to your, <coughs> your customers. Um, and this can have all the items from our Sea Life Jewelry. It's got sea glass, beach glass, and a lot of different items in there. And then we go to the next, really you're just following the bottom of the screen right here and it walks you right through it. Any text that we have changed, when we copy this, this will come up and that will fix any text that we have changed and add it into here. And the final step is to go and confirm. And then in our confirm email, it has the number of <coughs> recipients we want to send to, to the subject line, the reply email and it will have tracking code uh, built into it and this will actually show up in Google Analytics. You'll be able to see uh, the tracking code uh, come through your analytics account. And the last thing to do is I like to always send a test email so I'm going to send a test email to myself and my partner and I'm going to send that off now and then I'll check and make sure that I got the email and that it looks okay and then I'm just going to simply send and that is it. So it's very simple to use. 
uh, that's how you do it and you can check out uh, pinehurstwebsites.com for more information and uh, great ideas on how to um, increase traffic